here we've got our asteroids moving and looking a bit more uh, kind of realistic to us. Let's make it so they actually do some damage to our player when they encounter him. So at the moment all that happens is our player is flying along and if we hit against an asteroid he just kind of pushes it around a little bit. We can Sometimes we can catch it and make it spin a bit more. Obviously that's not really what we want to happen. So what we're going to do first of all is make it so that our player can't actually push these asteroids around at all. And to do that we'll just change it so that our asteroids, I'm actually going to delete the other three because we don't need to worry about them. We'll just stick with one for now. So this one asteroid, we're going to make it so that it's a trigger so that our player can't actually interact with it in any way. But now that it's a trigger, our player can enter into it and we can do some scripting to make it do damage to the player. And basically what we're going to make it do is if our player runs into the object, our player will blow up. So to do that, we're going to create a new script, a new C sharp script that we'll call hurt player like that. We'll let that open up. And of course, we're going to want a way for either our player to know that it's entering an asteroid or for our asteroid to know that it's being hit by a player. And since this is a heart player script, we're going to attach this to the asteroid. So we're going to need our asteroid to know that it's encountering with a player. So the player, we're going to give it the tag of player. One of the default built-in tags into Unity. We'll just apply that to the player there like that. Then we'll go back to our asteroid. We're going to give our asteroid the heart player script. And now we're going to up, go and have a look at that script in Mono Develop here. So our hurt player script is going to be nice and simple and straightforward. It's not going to be too much to it. All it's going to do is basically detect um, if the player has entered the trigger zone. So what we do is say void on trigger enter 2D. And by default we'll say check what the other collider is so we have our on trigger enter 2d and we've used that previously for when um say for example the ball has entered the uh, kill zone at the bottom of the screen we've um used it to check okay if we've entered that zone but what we're doing here is uh this the zone is actually attached to the same object this script is and we're checking for the player entering it and it works both ways. So we don't have to worry about like, oh, we're not actually going into a zone here. We're waiting for the player to enter our zone. So do we have to do anything different? No, we don't have to worry about that at all. We can just treat it in the exact kind of same way. So here we can just say if other dot game object dot tag is equal to player. All we want to do is very straightforwardly destroy the player so destroy game object and that's it that's all we wanted to do nice and simple nice and straightforward we can save that go back into the game let it compile and because we've already attached it to our asteroid we know it should be all hooked up and working for us so we can hit play and now if we fly into the asteroid boop oh wait <laughs> i just realized uh we don't want to just uh, destroy uh, our asteroid. We actually want to destroy our player. So destroy game object will just destroy the asteroid itself. But of course, what we want to do is destroy other that game object. Now we might want our asteroid to be destroyed at the exact same time, but for now we'll just stick with we're trying to destroy the player, not the asteroid itself. So we'll let that compile again. But you can see the code was working the way we intended it to. It just decided we we had forgotten to destroy the correct object so we'll hit play again and this time we fly into it boom our ship gets destroyed and the asteroid keeps flying on through the game so there we go now we can start hurting the player so let's give a way for the player to fight back it might not necessarily work against these asteroids but if we're going to start adding some enemies we're going to want a way for our player to be able to take care of them rather than worrying about our enemies just running into the player himself. Konnichiwa.